Alright, so the drive back should be considerably quieter. So the exhaust is just straight piped right off the turbocharger. I have all the stuff in the back to do the exhaust. So hopefully, once I get the exhaust done, this thing sounds just super premium. So let's get over to the shop, start welding some exhaust up, and uh, make this thing sound really, really nice. It sounds like a B. pulled the little straight pipe section that I made off before so I could utilize the factory flange again. I did order a flange off eBay, but it ended up being the incorrect flange. So I'm gonna reuse the stock one and uh, just do a 45 down and then another 45. So let's get this thing a little bit closer. So, uh, and I also am gonna put a few V-bands in the exhaust just so it'll be a little bit easier to work with. So this is all the stuff I have a few UJs for the exhaust. I got three of those. I got two sets of V-bands and I got these little nice downturn things for the tips. So they will just go on the mufflers and just point down. I think that's how I'm gonna run them. I'm not exactly sure yet. I wanna see how they look when they're all, you know, sorted up in there. I also got this Y and uh, let's start cutting one of these UJs to get the downpipe back together. pretty much sorted I'm gonna go home and eat some dinner come back finish up as much of the exhaust as I can I need to still figure out how I'm gonna run the hangers and everything but at least the downpipe is tucked up now so it won't scrape anymore I know a lot of people were really really mad about it scraping but uh, you know cast iron turbos they're all right so now it's tucked up it has a v-band it is ready for the rest of the exhaust but uh, I'm gonna go eat first, so let's go do that. But the new downpipe, she's toned down a little bit, but now I'm home, so I'm gonna eat some dinner. This is the first time the FC has actually been on a lift. And uh, yeah, you can see the downpipe right there that I made. I have it nice and tucked up. So it's, you know, the V-band is kind of by the tranny. Then the pipe is just gonna come back this way. But let's, let's check out underneath the car and see what we can find. There's uh, some RTV right there from the transmission. I probably should check the tranny fluid, the diff fluid. These uh, these rubber bushings for the exhaust hangers are kind of, um, they look kind of saggy, so I'll probably have to change those eventually. All of them look kind of 
kind of like saggy. The diff itself actually doesn't look like it's leaked any fluid out of it, which is nice. Back here, it looks like the struts have leaked plenty of fluid and they look blown. Crazy that this is what connects the lower control arm right there. Man, that's that's like a little baby baby thing. I don't know, that's, that's really crazy. I'm not sure if I should leave these heat shields in there because I really don't think I need them anymore. I just think they'll be in the way. So I may end up taking these out. There's uh, not really any reason to keep them in there. This one kind of got bent when I put the fuel tank in, but yeah, I don't see any reason to actually keep these in there just because there's not gonna be huge mufflers or anything. There's just gonna be these little guys right here and the downturns and they'll come pretty far back. So yeah, I'm probably just gonna end up removing these heat shields and just leave it how it is. Since I'm waiting for the exhaust hanger material to finish up the exhaust in the FC, there was someone on a local Facebook group that had something special for the FC that I really, really wanted because it didn't work. So let's open this package and uh, there's two of them in here. Can you guys guess what it is? There are two in here because he was getting rid of all his spare parts. So I was just like, send me both of them just so I have a spare window switches. Look at that. Here we go. Here we go, boys. So let's replace this window switch because mine's busted. And hopefully the driver window will finally work. This will be awesome if it does. If this fixes the driver window, I'll be so happy because the passenger window rolls down, the driver window, it doesn't. So, and there, there's a reason for that. We got power. We got a new window switch. Oh my God, oh my God, the driver window now goes down. Does the passenger one now? Oh no, hold on. Oh no. What What's really going on here? So we, we need to do something about this. Let's try the other switch. Their switch is now in driver window. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Nothing, passenger window, nothing. So we have three switches here. I think we can make, well, this one fell apart when I pulled it out, but I think we could make something work with two switches. We got two switches, one, two. This one is RIP forever, I guess now, but I think we could figure something out, make this work. Maybe this needs to be plugged in. What's this go to? What's this little guy go to? Does this go to something? Like, comes over. Looks like it goes somewhere, somewhere. I don't know. I almost feel like the issue with the first switch is this little switch right here that turns off the, the passenger window is uh, causing it to not work. Let's uh, go to the passenger side and see if that switch over there works. Let's see if she works. No, this switch doesn't work either. Interesting, very, very interesting. Well, I'm going to, for now, be happy that the driver's side window now works and I will fix this switch. Actually, I may end up fixing this switch right here altogether and uh, this switch will work for now because I'll have a driver window because it goes up and down, which is awesome. But the passenger one, I have no clue why it doesn't do it. We'll see, but this is awesome. All right, so I'm filming with my Canon camera. My Sony camera kind of crapped out. I'm not exactly sure what's wrong with it, but it only films like 26 seconds of time. Last night, I worked on the FC power window switch. And uh, what I did was I kind of hybrided the old switch and the new switch. So now both driver and passenger window switch work. You can see here's the driver, down, up, passenger, down, up. So what I did was I was gonna use the top from the original switch, but then the actual switch um, holders or whatever holds the switches was all busted up. So I couldn't use it. The only sad thing about that was the lettering on that was really nice. So 
This is the one of the switches that I got, the upper. The lower electronics is from the original switch, which was actually extremely, extremely nice on the, uh, the original switch, which was actually surprising to me. Didn't look like they used the window switches that much. Um, so maybe the AC worked, or maybe they just didn't roll the windows down. I'm not exactly sure, but um, the, the way you can tell that is on these older cars, the switches, every time you go up or down, it, it switches 12 volts instead of ground. And what that does, it leaves a little bit of carbon tracking every time. Car manufacturers figured that out early after it started doing it because stuff started failing. And uh, when you switch grounds, it doesn't do that. So the other switch has a lot of carbon tracking or the, the other electronic base from one of the switches that I got. That's most likely the reason it wasn't going up and down on either of the windows. And uh, I could clean that up with a little bit of emery cloth. It also deforms the contacts, so I'd have to use a file on it to, to clean it up a little bit better. What I'm talking about is this is what carbon tracking is. It just leaves a little bit of carbon and it deforms the contacts just a little bit every time the switch is used because it's 12 volts. It's kind of like a breaker. When a breaker clicks, it leaves a little bit of carbon tracking and uh, deformation, but that is why I didn't use this. And that's obviously the reason why neither window went down. You can see the driver one is worse than the passenger one, but those can be cleaned up with a file and some emery cloth. That's gonna be the end of this FC video. I'm glad that I got the windows to work. Now I can go through a drive-through, I can get coffee. If I get pulled over, I can roll the window down and uh, it's just all the better. And also the downpipe, now the exhaust isn't scraping on the ground, which wasn't bothering me too much. Cast iron turbo exhaust housing you know, that's not gonna hurt anything. So um, now that is sorted, I'm waiting for the hanger stuff, the hanger material, so I could finish the exhaust up, which will be awesome to have a nice, you know, a nice toned FC rotary sounding exhaust. And uh, yeah, all is good. So if you like these videos, make sure to click that subscribe button, comment below, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And as always, see you next time. <laughs>